Good morning, guys. Welcome to my quarantine life. <laughs> I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy and all of that. I want you to be a little bit higher. I'm standing on like my makeup box right now. This is gonna work. Should work a little bit better. There you go. Um, but it is Sunday. Uh, if you're Catholic, it's Divine Mercy Sunday. So my prayer today is um, that there will be miracles and that coronavirus will um, hopefully, you know, start disappearing and people will start getting better. Um, I know this is just such a crazy time and I mean, you don't have to have, you know, a particular type of faith to know. Um, I think it's just definitely helped everyone take a step back and realize like all of their blessings and stuff like that. So sorry that that just what I wanted to say at the beginning, but um, you know, we, I just really am hoping for some miracles today for everyone that is suffering. Um, it's just so crazy and it started just to like trickle down, you know, and it has so much to do with people's, like everyone has been affected by this point, whether it's been someone that you know that lost their job or someone that you know that got sick or someone that you know who um, you know is not doing mentally well or something like that. So I hope all of you are good um, and um, hopefully things will start to get back to semi-normal, semi-soon. But in the meantime, I thought I would do a little quarantine day in my life. I filmed a bit earlier this week, but then I was like, this is so boring. I thought maybe let me just do one dedicated video. Um, since today is really gloomy outside, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go outside. I have been taking like walks probably five times a week. Um, there's a park near my place that is like, there's barely anyone there and you know, if you, um, there's like a little walking trail or running t trail and um, people are really good about like keeping their distance. Um, so I wanted to do that today, but it's pouring. So I don't think I'll be able to. So I'll try to do something active. Yesterday I did a Pilates bar workout in my living room. So maybe I'll just do one of those today, even though I'm really sore from that. I'm using the Moroccan oil dry shampoo because it's the best. I've gone through 10 million bottles. Um, I have a uh, a call right now. I have a meeting every day uh, to discuss um, our like previous day sales. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, but um, my company, we have a restaurant group, one of our businesses. So obviously we've been very heavily affected by, by everything, by having to be closed and all of that. But... Um, but you know, we are so grateful because delivery and to go and all of that is still allowed. So um, we like have a task force that meets every day. So that's why I have a meeting every day, but it's not a big deal. I'm happy to do it. I'm so lucky to have a job still and a career. And I know a lot of people are not that lucky. So I'm not gonna complain about having a meeting, you know? <laughs> that means I need to be a little bit presentable. You know, I'll put on, um, something on my face and not nothing crazy just like skincare and um i'll make a coffee and all that so i'll show you everything and it's a sephora sale so i thought it all is coming together nicely um that i can talk to you guys today and hopefully my weekdays are pretty crazy um i'm still having lots of meetings and all of that um so i'm i know a lot of people are like taking this time and um, if you like have decreased hours or like are not as busy at, at work, then maybe you like are a bit bored. Thankfully, that's not the case for me because I have a lot of work, <laughs> but on the weekends I try to really, you know, dedicate some rest too. So this is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. I just kind of use that to spray my face. Um, and let it like sink in for a little bit. I just cleaned my face before I started with the Bioderma. They don't sell that at Sephora, so no need to show you. Um, so for vitamin C guys, I'm still using the Drunk Elephant C Firma. However, um, I've been feeling really haggard, like literally like the week before quarantine, 
I was the, the the week of quarantine, like right before everything shut down, I was supposed to get my my best friend Jimmy was supposed to get married um, at the end of March. So like right before everything shut down, and I had my Botox appointment right before that, and I had to cancel because you know I everything was closed. You know they shut the offices down. So I've been feeling really haggard, which is why I went and. Um, pulled in the reinforcements or what do you call that? And I ordered the um, skin suticles because I think it's just a little bit stronger. It is more medical grade than this. However, the drunk elephant one is still really good. It's a lot cheaper, like significantly cheaper. I believe it's half the price and drunk elephant is still expensive. <laughs> so I would say do the drunk elephant unless you, you know, and especially right now during the, during the Sephora sale, it's like, much better but I just like was feeling bad for myself and was like I'm just gonna order this CE for like and um from SkinCeuticals and it was 15% off from on Derm Store I don't know if they still have a sale I'll link both down below I still use this I'm about to finish it that's why I ordered another one um but whatever it's fine the drunk elephant one gets the job done it's a really good vitamin C serum it's my favorite one I've tried that's like not medical skin care grade so this was the Dr. Dennis Gross eye cream. Um, eh, it's okay. I mean, I think that I feel like I got a little bit of milia when I first started using this. Um, this also, I believe, has like vitamin C and collagen. I don't even know because I can't even read, but I'm almost done with it. You can see it's like right there. So I'm finishing that up and... I have a little mini skincare fridge I'll show you. I have a Tatcha one that my friend Haley gave me because like her friend worked for, or I think her sister-in-law works for um, Tatcha. So she like had a bunch of eye creams when she came to visit me. She gave me that one. Um, this I love, it's the Omori Pacific Essential Creme Fluid. It is my daily moisturizer. It is pricey, it's around $100 on Sephora, but definitely you take, like if you need a really good moisturizer, if you're, have like oily combo skin. This is like perfect. Alexa, what's the time? The time is 11.47 a.m. Okay, I need to have 10 minutes. <laughs> so I just do that, um, kind of let that sink in. Um, and then I have a new product that I wanted to um, share. So Tula, which is like that makeup brand or skincare brand that a lot of bloggers talk about. Um, they were having a, I think it was a, it was like buy these masks for help. Like I bought the mask full price, but then they donated another pack to a healthcare worker. So I went ahead and bought it. And my cousin who's an influencer um, has a code. So I used her code. I'll link it down below for 15% off. Um, and I got the Tula, I got a few Tula things, but this is the Tula Rose Gold, Rose Glow and Get It Eye Balm. I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it goes. Um, I've heard really good things. Oh wow, it does like give a really pretty glow. Really nice. And it feels really nice because I had it in my skincare fridge overnight. Love, let me show you guys my skincare fridge and then I need to make a coffee because my meeting is in like 13 minutes. So here's my little fridge. It's cool, cooly, cooly. I got it on Amazon. It was around fifty dollars. It's like styrofoam. I thought it was gonna be like not styrofoam, plasticky, but it's fine. It's getting the job done in white. It's pretty cute. So you open it. I really wanted one that had a little like container for masks here. Oh, this, these are so good, guys. These are from Amazon. Um, I'll link these too, but they're a really good price. Um, and then I have this freezing mask from Sephora that I love. Uh, so here I have my uh, night creams. I have the two La Mers that I use that I'm so addicted to. Um, so if you guys want to splurge on La Mer, definitely it never goes on sale for 20% off. So do it while you can at Sephora. I have a um, Summer Fridays jet lag mask in there too. I use that like probably once or twice a week. And down here I have some other things. I have my like roller, I have my Glossier eye balm. Um, this is that Tatcha eye cream I was telling you guys about, the, the Silk Peony. It's 
fine. Um, and then I have this Bobbi Brown eye cream I use at night. It's the eye repair cream. So yeah, that's what I have in my little skincare fridge. Uh, I like it. Already on Instagram, I showed what I had ordered, but I can go ahead and like go through that and show you guys what I ordered. And I have another full cart that I'm about to take the plunge on. So let's see. <laughs> um, but for now, let's go make some coffee. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm going to make iced coffee because that's just what I'm feeling like. I'm going to do it in this cute little mason jar because I've fallen into the TikTok rabbit hole and it's just cute. <laughs> so I just have this Nespresso machine um, that my parents got for me for Christmas. I don't know if you guys can really see that well. Maybe I'll like this. Let's see. It goes in there. Um, I'm just going to brew the coffee first. Might have to add a bit of water. But while I do that, I just clean what I can from the night before. I made dinner last night for myself, so I have, I wash like so many things by hand because I'm Mexican and I think that's a weird thing that we do as Mexicans. <laughs> um, with this espresso, you can make it like not that warm here or you can make it like really hot and you can make it like up to like a little bit larger, but I find that the larger one tastes really watery. So that's why I don't really use it. In the meantime, I'll show you guys my favorite thing I've got in all quarantine. It's this candle warmer. I have a really old, um, my sister got this for me for Christmas. Uh, it's the espresso candle from Anthropology, but you can see it's like, you can't light it anymore, but here you put it on the candle warmer and it lights up the whole, like the, it's it, the smell really, goes all over your room. I also have this that I like to spray just cause I like to be surrounded by nice calming scents. <laughs> so I have that. I'm really into oat milk these days. I have this one, the Planet Oat. Um, it's still kind of warm, so I'll just let it sit for a bit. I'm gonna add ice, obviously. <laughs> So we just finished one of our calls. We do two calls in a row <clears throat> every day. On during the during the week, they're earlier, but on the weekend, since the guys, um, a lot of them are still you know working late, we do them a, a bit later. Um, but we first talk about our like casual Mexican restaurant, who is our restaurant that's performing the best, which is, we're so happy. Um, we have uh, 12 of those restaurants and then uh, we do a call looking over our fine dining restaurants. So um, it's very interesting. And again, like I said, I'm really blessed. We are all really blessed and grateful that, you know, regulations are still letting, you know, people do to go and delivery. And I know a lot of, there's a lot of misinformation out there, but it's really honestly very safe. Um, I'm speaking for restaurants, like we, like restaurants have so such strict sanitation guidelines, like without coronavirus. So imagine with coronavirus, how strict everything is. And there's still, um, I mean, we've been inspected like three times during coronavirus. So just know that um, you should be supporting lo your lo favorite local restaurants because we are very, very lucky where um, we've been staying afloat, but especially if you have one that's a mom and pop that they just have one restaurant or two restaurants, like support them, t do takeout, do delivery. Takeout is actually better because then you don't get like the delivery fees, but I mean, anything really helps. So um, I wanted to say that too, that I mean, I've been supporting my favorite local restaurants also that are not just mine because I think it's really important for us to make sure that these restaurants survive and that we have places to go to when quarantine is over, you know? Um, but anyways, um, I need to add a little bit more ice to my coffee. My other call is in nine minutes. Finished with my calls and I think I'm going to make the executive decision to try to go to Trader Joe's. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I should. I am double thinking everything. I just don't know if I like 
when I go outside, but I think it's fine if I like go have an umbrella, have my mask. My friend Caitlin's mom made me these masks. So sweet of her. So I can go out and not worry about it. So maybe I'll do that. <sighs> Let me think about it. I'm going to Trader Joe's. I'm having like major issues with my AC in my house. It's like hot in here and then over there it's freezing so i don't know what's going on but i put this like uh crop sweatshirt on from target um if they still have it i'll link it down below keep brushing my hair because i think it's just like nasty looking but i want to do a workout later and um wash my hair so i'll probably do some olaplex as well um so I wanted to like continue what I got from Tula. These were the hydrogel masks that they were donating to healthcare workers. So I got four. They did have a sale. I have never tried them, um, but maybe I'll try one tonight. I'll I love this, guys. It's the Tatcha Lip Mask. It's really good. It's better than the Laniege, but I'm still using the, the Laniege because I want to use it up. <laughs> this is still good. You can see I've used a lot of it. But, um, but yeah, I still like that. But I think I like the Tatcha one a bit more, but it is more expensive if you think about it. So I got those. I'll keep these in my little storage in here. I also want to like organize this storage in there. I mean, it's pretty organized, but it could be better. And the other thing I got on um, my friend Campbell, she's also an influencer. She talks a lot about this. It's the face filter blurring and moisturizing primer. So now that I already put, you know, moisturizer on, I want to try this. Uh, I have been using like the only drugstore product I have because I'm a ridiculous makeup snob is this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Guys, it is so good. It's just like the Tatcha one. I love it. But I wanted to try this one because I've heard it's really good. So let's try it. And I'm just going to wear that and a little bit of concealer to go to Trader Joe's. Okay. So it looks like that. Kind of reminds me. Hmm. I have that like Dior Capture Total primer that I used to love, but it's so expensive that I stopped Oh, it's like kind of gray. It kind of reminds me of that consistency or that like color. I don't want to put makeup on, so it looks nice, right? Like even just like the little bit that I applied right now. So there you go. That's my first try of Tula skincare. So got that in. Um, I thought it was nice. I like to support companies right now that are doing you know something good for people but i mean i don't know what sephora is really doing but here i am shopping the sephora sale so this guys is the best thing you guys all need it it's the charlotte tilbury um corrector i use number one and this lightens up your under eye like no other you honestly don't even need concealer on top of it but i use it usually It's like the best under eye corrector I've ever used. It's so good. I had the Becca one before, but the Becca one is so tacky and sticky. That I like, I think I just like threw it away. And the Becca one had a weird smell too. I don't know if that's happened to you guys, um, but the Becca under eye corrector had a smell like pencils. You know the pencil smell? when you like sharpen your pencil. Um, yeah, that's how, what I felt like the Becca one smelled like. This is something else that I love, the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil. I have a backup already, so I don't need to get one right now. That's how I take my makeup off at night. I need a trim, I need a gloss, but here we are. <laughs> Not gonna happen right now, so. But we are going to brave at Trader Joe's. I believe they're not letting us do um, 
what do you call it? I don't think they're letting, oh look, the, the skin looks really good. I like that primer. They're not letting us bring in our reusable bags. So I won't be doing that. I've been watching Real Housewives of New York guys like catching up on old seasons. And oh my God, let's discuss. First of all, have you seen the new season? What do you think of Leah? Um, and then second of all, I'm obsessed. Who's your favorite Real Houses of New York housewife? Because I honestly love them all. Um, but I don't know. I think right now, let's discuss if we, if you, in the comments. Because I think that Dorinda, who's always been one of my faves, is going through something right now because she is not well, bitch, in her own words. So I wanted to show you guys the masks and how I'm going to put them on. So I have gloves in my car too that I got from work. So I'll do this and make sure that you open it so that it's like covering everything like that and it's tight. So, okay guys, so I'm packing my essentials for my grocery store run. I might have to go to two grocery stores. So that's why I'm being extra cautious. Um, I have my hand sanitizer from Trader Joe's. Um, I have my mask, I have AirPods cause when I'm in the stores, I don't want to have anxiety. So I'll listen to either like music or, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, music or podcasts. I have my wallet, obviously I need to get my keys and that type of stuff. And then I'll be on my merry way. Guys, I went a little nuts. I'm just realizing. I mean, I spent a lot of money, but um, this will hold me over for a long time. I probably won't have to go to the store again um, in a while because I have a lot of like frozen protein. Um, so it's for my safety that I bought all of this. So I'm just going to run through everything really quickly. I'll go through the wines because these are staples that I buy all the time at Trader Joe's. Um, I love all of their French rosés. The La Ferme Julienne, it's so cheap. I think it's like $7, but it's still good. This Sancerre is not cheap, but I really like it. It's about, I think, $17, uh, but Sancerre is probably my favorite type of white wine. Uh, I have two more French rosés. The Palm is the, by Whispering Angel. It's really good. And this Cote de Provence is also good. Um, this is uh, Rioja Crianza. Uh, from Spain, and this is an Italian Barolo. I love the Barolos. Barolos are usually very expensive, but this one is, I think, 12 or 13 at Trader Joe's, and it's very good. So I tried to break it up as much as I could, um, veggies and that type of stuff, but it's not all good. Always love these shaved Brussels, either for salads or for sauteing. I got some broccoli some baby bella mushrooms because i like these in like stir fries or um anything it's really good asparagus cauliflower an avocado i got brie unexpected cheddar i've never tried this one but it looked good the havarti with cheese and dill the havarti cheese with dill the fat-free uh feta i love that uh, for salads I like making a greek salad uh, the, this is the reduced sodium salami that I love. I swear by these Argentinian shrimp from Trader Joe's. They are so good, like the best shrimp ever. They taste more like langoustines. And then um, over here, oh my God, guys, if you buy one thing, buy these. My cousin had them last time I went to her house and oh my God, I died. They were so good. Um, and then I got some olive oil spray that I, I just ran out of. Uh, these are really good. They're really, really low in points for WW. Um, I'm not really following it right now, loosely tracking, but um, if you do want a low point snack or like low calorie, they're not, these are not that bad for you. They're the chicken cilantro mini wontons and I have them with like sriracha and, or, or um, coconut aminos. These are so good. They're the premium salmon burgers. Um, I think four come in here, but I used all of mine the other day, um, or I, I had like two of these for lunch this week, so I finished my pack. Also love the riced cauliflower stir fry. This doesn't need anything. It already has sesame oil, so I just put it on the stove, and it, it's so, so good. I add a little bit of garlic, and that's it. Um, I get these shots from there because they're delicious, the ginger and the turmeric one. I got the olive tapenade, everything but the bagel dip, the smoked salmon dip, 
and the tomatillo sauce. I got two onions, white and red, some hydrangeas, a plant, peppers, pretzel slims. I love these for hummus or like any of these dips. Um, this was like my dessert splurge, the pretzel slims, dark chocolate cover. They're so good, but highly addicting. So watch out. I almost bought two, but I'm glad that I didn't because I would have probably eaten both today. Uh, here are the blue corn tortilla chips, peanut bite crackers for cheese or anything like any of the dips or hummus. This, I thought it would be good to make like a white wine spritzer or something like that with that, or even do an Aperol spritz with this. And I got olives, artichoke antipasto, which I love this. I swear by this stuff. And I ran out of Dijon, or I'm about to run out of Dijon mustard. So there's that. Um, now I just have to put everything away. And I think I am actually going to go on a walk, meet up with my um, cousin, and we'll social distance and wear masks and all of that fun jazz. But um, there's a lot of like walking things around here. So that's what we're going to do. And there you go. It's 3.30 now. Um, I just put on this cute top I bought at Target. I'll link it. I got it in white too. Um, it's kind of like a, a crop t-shirt actually. I forgot I have my mirror here. I'll show you. So this is what the little crop top looks like. What is this? <laughs> um, it just looks like this. And then I'm just wearing black leggings and some Nike Air Max. And that's it. I'm going to put on a little jacket because it's cold. And we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this is Target from Stars Align or Wild Fable or something like that. And I like it. This is a Amazon dupe <laughs> um, case for my phone. But it looks nice. So that's my little outfit. Still here. But I don't know. I'm like, I don't, I don't have an appetite. It's weird because I always have an appetite. I have like a little bit of the smoked salmon dip. But that's it. I haven't eaten anything weird it's like four so I'm having a little coffee <sighs> I'm feeling just it's like I feel a little nauseous I don't know it's weird cheers I'm just washing some dishes How cute does the plant look in my little H&M face? That looks Versace. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I also got this recently. I want to make a few recipes from there, but I went on a really nice long walk and then I actually ended up going to Whole Foods because I needed a couple of other things. Don't worry with my mask and everything. I'm being as safe as I can. Um, so I'll just show you that quickly. So I got sesame ginger dressing that I love from there. This I really like to have on hand for like making cocktails. I've been thinking I want to make some French 75s maybe. Um, I just need to get St. Germain at some point. Um, but I think that would be a good little cocktail to make. And I need to buy cocktail glasses. So I need to do that. I actually have a gift card from Anthro. So I need to like get a wait till they have a sale and get some nice like little cocktail glasses from anthro um so i don't have any like martini glasses unfortunately uh, i got more of the miracle noodles i got oh i thought i showed this to you yesterday but i didn't uh but they're like little tofu noodles that are really good with like shrimp stir fry and veggies it's like nothing um i got this is the basically what i went to whole foods for I live and die and swear by this marinade to cook your veggies in. Um, you can use it as a dressing, but I don't. A little goes a long way. I use this instead of olive oil to cook like Brussels sprouts or I've even done like asparagus or broccoli in this, just like saute it. It had it adds such a good flavor. This is a sugar-free uh, dressing. I discovered it when I was doing um, Whole30 many, many years ago. And I really, really enjoy that. I got some bamboo shoots. I like that for stir fry too. I got what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I still, I, I don't, I, I'm telling you, I always have a ravenous appetite. Like I haven't had anything. It's not good, but I just haven't been hungry. I haven't had anything. And it's like six o'clock or six 30. I mean, I had that smoked salmon dip a bit. So I got some Mediterranean salmon so I will cook that up. Um, I got these uh, chocolate chunk cookie dough cookies. 
They're gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, peanut-free. So I thought I would make these and we'll see. And then I also always stock up on these. They're so expensive. I think they're like $6 each. For some reason, that's really expensive to me for like a vegetable type thing. Um, they're these grilled artichoke hearts and I cook these in with my Brussels sprouts. It is guys like, believe me, this, this and the shaved Brussels are the best side dish ever. Really healthy, really good love. So that's about it guys. Um, I think I'm going to shower cause I'm gross. I'm going to wash my hair and I might actually put Olaplex in, sleep on it and wash it out in the morning. I'm not 100% sure if that's what I want to do or not, but I think that actually will be good because I have a 9.15 and then I have a little break so I can like blow dry my hair tomorrow. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, well, let me put this stuff away, shower, and I'll show you guys what I end up cooking. I forgot that I can now like do HD videos and I forget about it, but hello, <laughs> I'm all fresh. I look great. I know I'm doing a little bit of bioderma. I wash my face with my cleanser in there, which is the Sunday Riley ceramic slip i always go back to that one i like it i just finished a caudalie one that was just okay but i did the buy the, the other one again um i've been using the tatcha essence at night i like it uh i kind of just do it on the other side of the cotton pad and apply that all over very little a little goes a long way Reminiscent of the SK2 is the Tatcha. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. I got, I took this and it's like really spicy. You switch things up usually at night, but I I'm always usually use a Honeymoon Glow by Pharmacy. I reordered this already with my order that I placed at Sephora. And I, I didn't tell you guys, but I placed another one today. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> but I'm almost out and I like to have a backup because I, I love, love, love this serum. It does sting a bit depending on what you did to your skin that day. But tonight I'm gonna stick to La Mer. Whew, a little, I'm opening my little skincare fridge that I showed you guys. I'm gonna take a bit of the Bobbi Brown eye cream like that and do like three little dots. And make sure you take it all the way up. This is a moisturizing one, so it shouldn't affect, shouldn't give you any reaction. The La Mer, and just grab a tiny bit. A little goes a long way with this. And now that I've been like making it cold, it feels so good, guys. <laughs> For my detangling, I just am using this little sample I got from Briogeo. I ordered this same one in a big size from the sale. A bit of red patches right now, so I actually am gonna use the hyaluronic serum a bit on, on top. Just, you can kind of see where the red patches are. Um, I apply it directly on there, so just like, Look at myself in the mirror. Just apply like that, like as a spot treatment. This is the Kerastase um, Discipline. Uh, this is a leave-in conditioner. Like a smoothing cream. My hair like really soaks up product. Like it drinks it up which is nice about my hair is so long. I have to make sure it's nourished, you know? I use all Briogeo products. I use the scalp um, shampoo, the charcoal one, and then their hair mask of my conditioner. Uh, and the best thing in the world is this hair oil by Shu Uerma. Um, I bought this back, this lasts forever. Like it'll last you a year and a half, I swear. Um, but I use it on my ends also makes your hair so so smooth i love it and you could use it on dry or wet hair which is which i really really like okay so all clean all fresh and clean all moisturized 
feeling Giovanni. This goes away. I am hungry and I'm ready for a glass of wine because why not? It is quarantine and every day I just ask myself, is it Chardonnay? Is it Rosé? Is it maybe a Pinot Noir? Is it an Aperol Spritz? Are you gonna make a cocktail? Um, I don't know. Let's see what I feel like today. Um, got this in the mail. It's the CE Frulic $1,000 million serum, AKA it's like a hundred and something, 66. It's horrible. But this comes sealed from Derm Store. Love it. Uh, finishing that Drunk Elephant one. So once that runs out, I'll switch to this. But yeah, I opened it like really badly. Put some tzatziki sauce and some chili onion, chili garlic crunch from Trader Joe's on top of the Brussels, artichokes, cauliflower rice. And I did roast that salmon for like 10 minutes. And I can't wait to eat. Watching the OG Makeup by Tiffany D. And I'm finishing, I'm polishing off this uh, Sauvignon Blanc I had. And then I think I'm going to switch to Rosé maybe. We'll see. Okay, guys. So just feel like such a handy woman. So I just replaced the light in my little lantern. It's a bit bright, but oh well. <laughs> I have a little patio set out here in the entrance of my condo. So I have this. I have a lot of space, so I want to like do some plants probably like here and here um we'll see look it's pouring 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 hi guys so it is about it's it'll be 10 o'clock very soon and i think i'm gonna call it a night and share the rest of my sephora picks tomorrow if that's okay with you guys um, well, you don't have a choice because once this goes up, you won't know. Um, but I think I'll just do that. And that way tomorrow I can do a bit of makeup and just show you some of my favorite products. So I know I've talked to you about skincare today. I'll talk to you a bit about makeup tomorrow. But I'm um, just watching some YouTube, trying to get some more inspiration for... I don't need to order more, but I'm watching Amelia, Amelia Liana right now. Um and just catching up on her vlogs and yeah my television still's not still isn't working did i tell you, even talk to you guys about that uh, but i'm gonna call it an evening because i am tired and i want to go to sleep early and be fresh as a daisy tomorrow so um i'll see you guys in the morning is it good morning i don't know what that is what is that little dot <laughs> um so it is 10.50. I've already had a couple of calls today. Um, I have my daily one at 9.15 with my team that I manage. And then um, another one for a new um, agency that we're going to be working with. Or we already work with them, but we're going to work with them on another project. And I'm about to sign on for my 11 o'clock meeting um, pretty soon here. But I really want to show you guys um, some of my favorite like Sephora products. So I think like I will try to do that right after this. That way I can like maybe like upload something for you guys. Hello, why is it so? Oh, I can see so many lights. Oh, Monday. Still feels like Monday even though we're not in the office <laughs> but the day looks pretty nice um I do have like um cramps today so I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know if I'm gonna do my walk or my workout uh we'll see it's gonna be sunnier later on today so maybe I can even uh put like lay down with the heating pad for a bit and also take a walk later we'll see how I feel and yeah I'm excited that it's Monday. There's my 10 minute warning. <laughs> what else guys? Um, I'm gonna make it a goal this week to like not online shop. I think that I went a little bit crazy with the Sephora sale. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel better about it when I split up two orders. Like it's, you're still spending the same amount of money, but like the, the total isn't as scary. <laughs> But I'm just looking at my credit card today and I'm like, I really should be, um, you know, taking this time to save money. And I think that I should. 
be able to um, because I do have a lot of projects that I want to complete in my house still. So instead of just buying stuff that I don't need, I should like focus on that <laughs> and putting stuff towards my fund funds of like home renovations. So I think I just need to be really good this week. Um, however, uh, I also want to share what I got at Sephora. Um, but I know I was like looking right now on Target and I'm like, oh my God, maybe like I want to order a bit more loungewear, but I really don't need it. No one's seeing me except like my coworkers. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, so I'll update you later. Um, I'll join my call right now. I'll show you guys what I have for lunch, which is probably the salmon from last night. Um, maybe with like rice or something. Cause I, I don't know what I want. I am hungry today. Yesterday I wasn't hungry, which is not normal for me. I told my mom and she's like, yeah, you're always hungry. Like, we're, we're a hungry family. We're always hungry. Um, so now, um, oh crap. I was supposed to wash that. I have stuff in the laundry. I like fix my guest room up because my sister had stayed like right before quarantine happened. And I just like had wash the sheets and just like left them on there. So um, I fixed the guest room and I put in a load of laundry and I'll do finish doing that. And then I also need to mop my floors or like Swiffer them. So I think I'll do that after my meetings and all of that. So we'll get, we'll get started here. All right, guys. Okay guys, so finally gonna run through some Sephora stuff for you guys. I just took a quick body shower and I have some time now. Um, I have a lot of work to do, but I have time to do this quickly before I eat some lunch. Uh, putting on the lineage again. Put it on so much. It's this thing. I like it, but like I already told you guys, I like the Tatcha one a tiny bit more. It's pricier and it's not as much product, but it's a little bit better. Um, okay, let me just brush my hair out a bit. I don't think I talked about this, but I love these. They're the glycolic acid peeling pads from Sephora. I feel like it's the same effect as Dr. Dennis Gross, but for a fraction of the price. So guys, definitely check this out. Um, during the sale. I really like these. I'm going to go super quick, guys, because I um, I want to run quickly through my makeup drawer. Um, I have these drawers here and it has what I use daily. Okay, guys, so this is my little makeup setup I have here. Uh, I just want to run through it really quickly. It's stuff that I've talked about for forever, so I'm sure none of this is new to you guys but i just wanted to run through the things that i'm just gonna really talk about standouts and things that i love um so let me just move this a bit okay so i love this becca under eye thing for um it's like an under eye primer for your concealer their under eye setting powder is really good for concealer i love the nars uh radiant creamy concealer or soft matte soft matte I use vanilla in that. I have the Clay Depot, but they don't sell it in Sephora. I love this. It's the Armani Power Fabric Concealer, uh, major standout. And I love these cream shadows or the eyes to mesmerize by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I have Bet, Marie Antoinette, uh, Rose Gold. And this one I don't reach for as much because it's a little darker, but it's Verushka. That's nice if you want to do like a smoky eye at night. Uh, for lip products, this one is really good. I don't think they sell it at Sephora though, so let's skip through that. Uh, my favorite lip products, the Dior Lip Maximizer in Rosewood. I love this Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. This is in, in the Buff. I love the Charlotte Tilbury glosses. These are like getting old. This one is so good. It's the Collagen Lip Bath by Charlotte Tilbury. Love it. I have Pillow Talk lipstick. I have this one that was like for the holidays. Um, this is the Kissing Lipstick in In Love with Olivia. I actually like this one better than Pillow Talk. It's really nice if I just show you guys quickly, one-handed. Oh, don't wanna mess it up. 
um, but it's such a beautiful color. So if you're looking for a really nice, like everyday nude, that one is fab. So there's that. Um, over here I have some foundation, some primers and like other stuff like that. Love the de bronzy over this foundation, but I like the original one. This one's a little drying on my skin, but you can see I'm like almost done. Uh, I bought this recently. Nord Nordstrom was doing a lot of like beauty sales earlier during quarantine. So I do like this. Um, I'll wear this throughout the summer probably uh, for just like um, everyday makeup. Um, the Wonder Glow is good, but if you were to pick, I would do the Deep Bronzy over anything. The Veil Primer by Hourglass is really nice. It has SPF 15. Um, love this. This is a major standout. The Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury is the best. Um, I love her eyebrow pencil, and I love her eyebrow uh, like filler in, too. Like I can't speak. It's called Legendary Brows um, if you just want to do a more natural um, brow. Over here, uh, bronzer, I've been loving. I still use the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I love Hoola. Um, this Becca one is really nice. Uh, for lip liner, Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite. They're the best. I love Pillow Talk and Super Size Me. And then for mascara, I ordered a backup of this. It's the Monsieur Big. Um, I don't love the Magic Away Concealer. We'll be honest about that. Uh, Tom Ford, Double Ended. Liner is always good. I got that during a sale or I got it for Christmas, I think. Uh, over here, my favorite blushes are Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Pillow Talk. This is the Chic, cheek to Chic. This one is so pretty. Uh, I like this little Laura Mercier palette too for blush. You can see it's really nice. Oh, can't open it. It has highlight and blush like that and then here at the bottom oh this is what I was talking about yesterday I don't know why I put it back in here but it goes in here love 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 this is like my favorite product I've discovered this whole year the Charlotte Tilbury under eye corrector this is amazing I do think they have it at Sephora it's so so good guys it's the benefit cheek stars and it has such good products it has Dallas blush sugar bomb blush cookie highlighter Georgia blush and hula bronzer so love love this for travel whenever we're allowed to travel again or if you just want to like stock up on a bunch of things you can just get this palette and it's like one and done okay don't fall don't fall don't fall um what else beauty blender i have new of those so i didn't really need to get it i love the these are my favorite um eyeshadow palettes on pillow talk and exaggerize they're both really good for christmas my mom got me a tom ford shadow Is that this one yeah how beautiful is that? This one is called um, Suspicion. So if they have it, I'll link it down below. I love that for eyeshadow. Um, for foundation, just give me one quick sec. Okay, so Dior Air Flash Foundation is my just absolute favorite for any type of going out or events. Um, but the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, I can't I've probably talked about this for like seven years in a row now, but these are my two standout foundations and the ones I recommend that you can buy at Sephora. So in an effort to keep this video like under an hour, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and um, upload what I have. And I think if you guys are liking these quarantine days in my life, let me know and I'll be happy to you know do more of them or if you guys wanna see something else, do let me know. But most importantly, I wanna see what you guys are buying at the Sephora sale. Um, I know, I, I don't know, it's just like fun. I love it during this time that everyone shares what they like and all of their like beauty buys. So please share with me um, what you guys got. And if you have any other like recommendations, um, I'm gonna try not to place another order because I placed one yesterday. So uh, we will, once I get my order, I'll share it with you guys because this code is active for a while. So I should get my order probably, um, tomorrow or the day after i need to check so i got my first order and then the other one that i that i placed yesterday already shipped like early this morning so hopefully it won't take that much longer but thank you guys for watching please stay safe stay home stay healthy hope all of your families are doing well too and we'll talk later bye guys